Hello, Kiana. I, your mom told me about your, your kitty. You were telling me about it yesterday. And she told me that you guys had to put her down today. And I want to say that I'm sorry. And I, I know that how it feels, you know, to lose a, an animal or a pet that you really care for. I don't know if you remember, I had that dog that, that I named Tyson, but, um, you know, he passed away, and he, you know, it was because he, we tied him up to a tree, and we actually left him there for too long, and he was a, a hyper dog, and he probably was chasing a fly, and he kind of wound himself around in a circle, and he actually strangled himself, so... When we found him, you know, he was dead and, you know, and he was pretty much strained or, you know, tangled up in the chain. So I had to untangle him, unchain him and had to pick him up and, you know, he was a heavy dog. And we took him all the way to the, you know, to the Humane Society and, you know, for them to dispose of his body. But, you know, I was pretty crushed and, you know, I, I cried. And, um, you know, I still think about him because, you know, that was my buddy. You know, we used to go jogging and things together. You know, whatever the case may be, you know, we have animals as, as gifts, you know, from Jehovah. And, you know, we form relationships with them and they form a relationship with us. And they come to depend on us and things like that. And so when we lose, you know, a, a pet, it's really difficult because it's, you know, it's a life that we lose, and it's very similar to losing, you know, a human being because, you know, we, you know, it's a relationship lost or gone. You know, it's very difficult to replace, it, you know, a, a relationship like that, but, you know, it is possible. You know, maybe you can start all over with another kitty and, and try to make it an inside cat what helped us with our cat and it's crazy because your cat and our cat looks very much alike but what helped us was that you know we made made it a scary thought or a scary thing for the cat to to think about going outside so now whenever you know we would actually take the cat outside and you know he would run back inside or or like I told you the other day and whenever he hears a stranger outside he went up on his hind legs like a meerkat and you know he would run away and run up you know and run and hide but um you know i just want to let you know that i was thinking about you and that it's okay to feel sad and, and grief for losing you know your cat because it's a natural part of life it just shows that you loved and care for you know god's gift to you and you know, the wonderful thing is, is that even though we can't replace the relationship that you had, you know, you can start a new relationship with another kitty. But you can, you know, take the efforts and the steps that, you know, to make it possible that you can protect your cat and, you know, allow it to stay inside. And, and you know, cats that stay inside have uh, more chances of surviving a longer time. And, uh, you know, and that's, and that's what we want. You know, we want to be able to spend as much time as we can with our, with our pets. And, um, and that way we can feel good too that, you know, we've, we've done all that we can to, to protect them even better. So I'll try to call you later and you know, I hope you feel better. All right. Love you. Bye.